please just tell me what's on your mind cause I don't have time to figure it out Let's figure it I'm out Haven't been our best for love I think that we're just holding on to something That won't work out Maybe we should walk away To say goodbye and go our separate ways I can feel it deep inside We will never work this out never work this out. I can feel it deep inside. We will never work this out. We will never work this a little week in my life vlog. It is Monday and I am just catching up on some to-do list items. I basically have a life-changing week in front of me because I am having the LASIK eye surgery done Friday. Today's Monday so it's really coming up soon and I am going to no longer need glasses or contacts. So I'm super excited to have that surgery done. I was like kind of against it for a while. I guess I was kind of scared, but now I am just super, super excited. Cheese. Say hi. 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 I have had glasses since I was in sixth grade. I was like 11 or 12, I think. And uh, now I'm hi. 28. So it's pretty crazy. I am just very excited to uh, wake up and be able to see. So, um, yeah, I thought I'll bring you guys along kind of, I'm not going to like, I don't know, vlog too much in depth of the whole process, but that's why I thought I would do like the full week. So leading up to it, I have to get like my prescription filled. Um, today I, I'm going to do like my grocery pickup from Walmart and all that stuff. So I have lots of meals planned and everything is just kind of getting back into the groove of things after New Year's. So we had... Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, and I just really hadn't been um, doing my meal planning and looking on Pinterest for all those recipes, writing it out, doing a grocery order. That really helps me stay in check with um, actually like cooking good dinners every night, not being as tempted to go eat out, and also um, choosing like healthy foods to make for my family so um we're not like strict dieting or anything but just trying to be a little bit healthier we're trying not to eat out or spend um unnecessary money in january and we'll see where that goes the rest of the year if you haven't been watching my videos i have a lot of decluttering videos and things like that 
um, that have been coming out because I am kind of on some kind of like minimalism journey. Tuesday today we haven't done much um, but I'm just slowly getting things checked off my to-do list I just made like a huge brain dump list in my phone notes app of different things that I wanted to get done um, so I just mopped the whole house which we have one of those like vacuum mop things so it makes it super easy um, but we have hardwood floor mostly throughout the um, main level so I just did that and I vacuumed upstairs yesterday so I've just been slowly tackling things um, the kids are watching a movie right now uh, because we are experiencing some kind of weird uh, sickness so the kids both both randomly threw up today and I went to a mom's group this morning with the kids so I really hope that they are not like actually sick and it was just something they ate because it was really weird they both weren't acting sick or anything and then just threw up so hopefully we didn't get anyone else sick but um Asher woke up from his nap throwing up and River has thrown up too so they're watching Lion King right now and we don't do a lot of screen time but obviously um it is a really nice thing to have. Um, I wanted to show you this little front room area. So I'm sitting at my desk, which I used to have a desk in this little corner, but it really just became a clutter cluster. Like I was just always uh, putting things there. It became a dumping ground for random stuff. So I wanted to clean up this room and I wanted to declutter the shelves. Cause even though I had like decorated them and it was cute, I just wanted less stuff. Um, that's like my general, go-to theme right now is decluttering and getting rid of stuff. So I just want to show you really quick. So this is our front door and when you walk in, there's this little room over here, which um, has been like decorated for a while, but it's always just been kind of like a random spot. We had two really big recliners here and now those are up in the kids room and this is just a much emptier space and I love it because you walk in and it actually feels like open and clean and decluttered so we have these really cute hanging pictures these are old but i love them um the kids look so young and i really wanted like black and white and if you've never heard me talk about it this room i did paint the back of these shelves black they were all built-ins that were here when we moved in but they had some kind of wallpaper and i just painted it black so now this is kind of how it's decorated still like functional for kids with some play-doh and stuff up there but much more minimalistic and operational functional so i really like that uh like i said i did have a desk but it was in that corner i have these cute things hanging here i'll show you really quick um, this one's from Hobby Lobby. This was from like a vintage craft fair, but I really like it. it says the most important work you will ever do is within the walls of your home. And this says rise up and pray. I never used to have like very many um, Christian type things hanging up, even though I'm born and raised Christian. Um, <laughs> and I just feel like now I really want it in my home more. I want 
uh, just little reminders and stuff. I want it to be more evident in my home as I'm raising kids. So um, I've had this cowhide for a while. I, it is real. I got a vintage market days um, craft fair kind of thing and I love it and it matches perfectly with the black and white theme in here. We actually changed this light fixture when we moved in and I love it. It's really simple but like modern and cool. And then my desk now has this cute little Sherpa thing on my chair and it's very like minimal. I just want to keep it really clean. I like having a calendar here. So this week I have my LASIK surgery. I just made a coffee even though it is 3.30 and I thought I would um, check a couple more things off my to-do list while the kids watch a movie. Do you like this movie? You like the animals? Yeah, I like the animals. Do you feel better? We gotta set it up. Alright, we're gonna say bye to your crib. Bye, crib. Bye, crib. Yeah, it's comfy. Yeah, it's comfy. You like your new bed? Yeah, I like my new oh, bed. Good. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Oh, the bed. Such nice oh, manners. You like Asher's bed? Yeah. You're uh, stuck. Look at uh, that curly uh, hair. Okay, That's your oinky. So today is. Thursday. It is a snowy cold day um, Which is really beautiful, but we did have some friends over this morning, which is why I didn't really do much other than make muffins um, But Asher is like not feeling well I felt really bad for my friend because I didn't tell them that he wasn't feeling well because I didn't know but then all of a sudden he was like so lethargic and felt pretty warm so he has been sleeping for a while and I don't really want to wake him up, but I probably will soon. But he actually slept in his big boy bed last night for the first time. So we set that all up and then he did really well. He fell asleep like he would normally here. on his own and everything. And then um, he yeah. did come into our room at like 2 a.m., which is so weird because usually he wouldn't like wake up and cry or anything like in the middle of the night he wouldn't wake me up when he was in his crib 
but he just like walked into our room and I was like, oh my goodness, okay, let's go back to your bed. Um, I hadn't like told him anything, like don't come out of your room or whatever, because I didn't want um, to like plant that idea or thought in his head. I just wanted to see what he would do. So he came in at two and then around six when he usually wakes up anyways, he did come into our room. Um, but I was, I like slept through it, but my husband told him to go back to his room and he did and then he went and got him so i don't know if we're gonna like set up some kind of like the hatch sound machine can have like different colored lights so maybe we'll do like when the blue light turns on you can come out um, oh my camera but he's doing really well and he's napping in his big boy bed right now so yeah river's eye has been acting up again um if you don't know which you probably don't she did have to have a surgery on her both eyes for the clogged tear duct uh, we waited until she was around 18 months old, even though a lot of people do it, say to do it around like a year to 15 months, but we wanted to give it as much time as possible to sort it out on its own. But after the surgery, one eye was completely better and the other eye was like worse than before the surgery. So it's acting up again right now. And her hair is so fun and beautiful with her curls. Is a camera? You say hi. Yeah. And we're wearing a Christmas shirt. Yeah. Just a typical week in our life. That's it. no. Yeah, that's your shirt. Can you say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. Yeah. Christmas. 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 Oh, don't draw your belly. <laughs> Why not? The surgery is done. I'm wearing these really cool glasses. Everything's blurry and I need to go home and take a nap. That's what they say to do. It is Saturday the next day. I'm still wearing pajamas, but I had my surgery yesterday, so I'm not wearing glasses and I can see, which is awesome. But I just wanted to go ahead and in the video, I can talk more about the surgery if anyone cares. I don't know. But this was a fun week in my life. Uh, we got Asher his big boy bed. I got rid of my glasses and had a LASIK surgery. So it was a pretty big week for us. But thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoy videos like this, motherhood, homemaking, decluttering, cleaning, all things like that, then definitely make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Say it again. Bye. Bye.